Hey everybody, got another video coming. My intentions for this video were to be to investigate all the different species of fish that are located in Elk Lake. Lake. It's unbelievable how many fish are in that lake. So it was my intentions to get to the bottom of it. When, where, who put them there. Um, and <laughs> really hard task, guys, just so you know. So anyways, I got to the bottom of maybe 50% of it. But honestly, I think this is gonna be a two-part episode. I'm waiting too long for this video, so we're just gonna come out with it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Let's go. All right, we're heading to Elk Lake, Saanich, British Columbia, Canada, located on Vancouver Island. It is right off Highway 17, the Patricia Bay Highway. This lake is the most fished lake in Region 1, with an absolutely absurd amount of anglers going there every year. It also has the largest population of fish species on Vancouver Island. It has 11 different species, three of which, which are native, and the rest are invasive. So let's go through that list right now. First on the native species list is cutthroat trout. That's right, cutthroat trout are located in this lake. I have not caught one, but hey, they're in there. Next on the list is the three spine stickleback. So these fish get their name for obvious reasons. They have three little spines coming out their backs, right where that dorsal fin should be. They're extremely small. And let's face it, these things are just food for the rest of the fish. You're probably not catching these. Prickly sculpins. So back in the day, I'm pretty sure mom and dad and everybody was calling these things bullheads. Well, that's just simply not true. We're gonna get into what the bullheads look like a little bit later, but we've all seen these. Okay, first up on the invasive species list, rainbow trout. That's right, rainbow trout are an invasive species in this lake. They grow to be quite large in this lake, up to seven pounds, I've heard. There's roughly 18,000 rainbows that are released into this ecosystem every year. People are catching them usually with sinking flies, gang trolls, power bait, just anything that gets down there because they are quite deep. Smallmouth bass, so they've been in there for a really long time. In fact, sometime in the 90s, humans decided to install an artificial reef that looked kind of like that. I detected it on my fish finder and it's located right off that highway. There's a little walkway right here and this is where a artificial reef was put in. Now, they didn't sink any ships or anything like that. The reef was built out of tires and I believe the exact date was sometime in 1997. Anyways guys, if you were looking for smallmouth, this is where it's at right here. The largemouth bass. Now, the largemouth bass are the second most abundant fish in this lake. I have not caught one, and I really had to keep a close eye out whenever I caught a fish because I was trying to identify whether or not it was a largemouth bass. So the easiest way to do that is to look at the jawline. If the jawline extends past the eye, you know you got a largemouth. Pumpkin seed sunfish. So I think we've all seen these around in various different lakes and creeks all over British Columbia, especially on Vancouver Island. These fish were accidentally introduced alongside the smallmouth bass as they look almost identical as small fry. So total accident, pumpkin seed sunfish. So this is what a bullhead looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very close relative to the channel catfish. This fish found its way into the ecosystem sometime around the turn of the 20th century. And there's a story. So during that time, there was a train car that ran from Sydney, British Columbia to Victoria, British Columbia. Now somebody had brought a bullhead aboard this train and threw it into the lake. Um, throwing a fish out of a moving train into the lake with hopes of populating a species seems a little strange. And even throwing a fish seems strange, but indeed, fish throwing is a sport. This is tuna throwing competitions right here. And my God, there's no sports on TV. So you know what guys, maybe this is an idea. Like maybe we can get into fish throwing. Like how far can you huck that fish from your car into a lake? And uh, sorry, I'm not promoting it. It just was a funny story. Next on the list is yellow perch. These things are absolutely everywhere in the lake. Um, now, yellow perch are actually quite fun and tasty and can grow to be 
very large in other river systems and bodies of water, but in this lake, they're still pretty tiny. Um, I've never eaten one before, but maybe I will. Next on the list, last on the list, carp. So I spent a really long time investigating where all these species of fish came from, but this one in particular drove me crazy. So there is a report called the Himera Report. I will leave a link down below. And it states that they were likely, okay, likely introduced at the turn of the 20th century alongside the bullheads. Though no, spe no specimens were captured, um, there was absolutely no evidence of this. Likely doesn't mean anything to me. Like likely aliens exist, but until we have an alien, it doesn't exist, okay? So no, these fish have not been in that lake for 100 years. I know this just based on the activity in the water with these fish. Like they are unmissable. And I'm telling you, I never saw these things 20 years ago. So where did these fish come from? Everybody, please, let's get to the bottom of this because I wanna know the honest to God truth. Where did these fish come from? It's just driving me crazy and that's it. I wanna go fishing. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, the gear. And if you guys have checked out any of my other videos, you'll know I'm a big fan of Rapala. These are some of the Rapalas we were, we were using at Elk Lake. Majority of them were suspending, but we did have a lot of luck on floating as well. The chartreuse, the silver patterns, uh, there's just a whole heck of a lot of options out there, but these things are amazing. Um, you can use them so many different ways, jerk them, crank them, anything you want. It's a very versatile lure and I totally support these. I have a mountain of them. Because I was trying to catch as many species of fish as possible for this video, what better way of doing that than with the good old hook and a worm setup? This setup's gonna catch you every species of fish in this lake, and that's really what I was trying to do, is catch as many as possible, which is why it's going to be a two-part episode, because, well, there's just an awful lot of species of fish in this lake, right? Anyways, guys, let's get on with this video. Come on. Tucker him out, babe. Good job. He's gonna jump again. He's gonna jump. Good job. Nice work. Ooh. We'll let him go, okay? Yeah. Looks like his eye's okay. Yeah, his eye's okay. Here, give me that camera. Give me the camera for the for the epic release here. Oh, he bit my freaking hand. Nice. <laughs> Man, I'm giving you. Oh, look at that. He's pretty. Wow, that's pretty decent. Wow! Yeah, nice. Good jump. Good jump there. And really. Good fight. Got some fight in this pop. Oh yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> he just splashed the heck out of you. 
Oh man. Come on, buddy. Fighting it on this really light <laughs> gear right now is <laughs> really <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring them your way, I think. Yeah, okay. Let's try to. <laughs> Yeah. I can't even see him. No, where the fuck? Oh, there, there he is. is. Little rainbow. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Good jump there. Good jump. There's another one. Hey. Have it. Another one. I didn't either. Ah, that is so bizarre. That is bizarre. So that's my first catfish in uh, Elk Lake. Man, that's that's crazy. <laughs> Now it makes me wonder about those fish over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe those were catfish. Could been. So long and thanks for all the fish. So sad that it should come to this. We try to warn you all, but oh dear. You may not share our intellect, which might explain your disrespect for all the natural wonders that grow.